Should the Chicago Bears look to trade for wide receiver Darius Slayton? Let's talk about it, people. What is going on, y'all? Fast Force all back at it with another video talking. Of course, man, I fell here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, hit the big red subscribe button down below, people. You won't regret it. All right, so let's talk about this trade rumor, if you will, in regards to Darius Slayton. So if you guys have not kept up with the news, the New York football giants are looking to potentially trade and or cut Darius Slate, wide receiver Darius Slate. Now, why would they do that when their wide receiving room isn't all that great, right? Kenny Galladay looks a little washed up here, uh, or he's had just a bad rapport with Daniel Jones and that team. And then we take a look at Sterling Shepard, who's hurt, and then Colin Johnson just got hurt. And you've got Kadarius Toney there, who's ob obviously the young stud uh, that's got potential. And then it's, it's, it's Darius Slate. Well, it's not a talent thing. It's a money thing, right? The amount of money they would save by cutting Darius Slayton or getting rid of him would be the re reason why they would do it. And plus, we've got multiple reporters now tweeting out that multiple teams have inquired the Giants about wide receiver Darius Slayton. So does it make sense for the Bears to go ahead and trade for a guy like Slayton, who's just 25 years old. He's uh, had over 700 yards twice uh, before in his three seasons, two out of his three seasons. And he's a guy who adds that deep threat element that we don't have a lot on this roster. Let's go through the receivers on the Bears team right here, people. And I'll tell you, right, Mooney's got it, right? He's our number one. But outside of him, Byron Pringle's not deep outside threat. Then we take a look behind him, Equinemius St. Brown. I would probably say he is, you know, kind of in the middle. Not really. He's a big, bigger body guy. I, I don't know if he's got the requisite speed needed. And then you've got guys like Vilas Jones, who certainly could be that guy, but he's more to me the guy who you kind of hit on those crossing routes and then he kind of takes it to the house type of thing. They get him more involved in the horizontal passing game as, as opposed to just a deep burner. Um, but he is that speed. And then it's guys like Dante Pettis, Tajay Sharp, guys that are, you know, veterans that have been around, but they're not necessarily burners, if you will, okay? So Darius Slayton, just from a talent perspective, if you were on the Bears, would immediately be arguably their second best receiver. Honestly, folks, I don't think that's a stretch. I think he could be better than Byron Pringle and Equinemius St. Brown. I truly believe that. We don't know what Vilas Jones Jr. is at this point because he's a rookie. We haven't seen him play in a regular season game. But if you add Darius Slate right now to the Bears roster, he would be the potentially the second best receiver. And again, with Justin Fields and his big arm and his tendencies to throw deep, Darius Slate would be a great fit here. Now, question is always about price and cost, right? What would it take to get Darius Slate? It would probably take a mid to late pick. I would tell you this right now. I think the Bears feel comfortable in their wide receiver room. I didn't even mention Nikhil Harry, by the way, who's a big bodied receiver. He's not a deep threat. But I think they feel comfortable in their wide receiver room at this point to where they probably don't make the move for Slayton if they have to trade for him. But if Darius Slayton is cut, and that's also a possibility because of the financial reasons I mentioned to you guys, the money that they would save by cutting him, then yeah, absolutely. I think the Bears pounce on that and I think they should do that because again you're getting a guy for nothing giving up no trade draft capital at all so if he's cut I'm all in if you have to trade for him I'm kind of 50 50 in the sense that I don't think the Bears will do it and I probably would give him a late late pick for a guy like Darius Slayton I wouldn't give up a lot uh, so that's where I'm at here and another wrinkle to keep in mind here I'm reading reports that Kenny Galladay might not make the Giants roster. Like, he's on potentially the bubble. And we're talking about a guy who was an absolute stud in Detroit with Matt, Matthew Stafford. Now, again, for whatever, whatever reasons, a number of reasons, I should say, it hasn't worked out for him in New York. It was a disastrous first season. But I'm telling you this right now. If the Giants cut Kenny Galladay, the Bears should be all over that. A local guy, a local kid, who can come back give us a big bodied receiver that we don't have like he would also be great for us again people might think he's washed or he's dust i just think it's a bad fit in new york i'd love to have it so with that being said darius Slayton, kenny galladay if these guys get cut yes let's go ahead and get them on the team sign them because we need more talent and um yeah we get them at no cost or, or no trade capital that we have to give up so let me know what you guys think am i crazy here darius Slayton? potentially Kenny Galladay, I'm all in. If they're cut, leave a comment down below as always.